Hey everybody, uh, this is Brian Crescenti. I'm here to show you Mod Nation Racer for the PS Vita. Before I do that though, I wanted to show you the instruction manual, which I know is often not that exciting, but this is how you'll be viewing the instruction manual for a lot of Vita games, if not all games. Uh, so this is Mod Nation Racer's Road Trip instruction manual. As you can see, it is purely digital and uh, takes a few minutes to load, which is, can be annoying at times. Um, 68 pages here. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to something so you can see how long it takes to catch up. Um, not a huge fan of the load times. There you go. Um, but it does load the pages around it. So, you know. Anyway, let's, let's get back to the game itself, though. Uh, so... Um, <clears throat> so, for those of you unfamiliar with this game, this is a racing game that allows you to create your own maps, your own vehicles, and your own drivers. Uh, it's a big part of it, kind of doing your own thing. So, let me show you how some of this works. Okay, I, I went ahead and um, already built some stuff. But I just want to show you, you know, you can just go in and change stuff on the fly. Well, not on the fly, but in this editor. Um, let me see if I can position this. Here we go. I'm going to show you the back of this here. Neat little thing. So there's a license plate, for instance. Um, so I just, let me see if I can, if I can go to that. Okay, so right now I'm on bodies. Here we go. Okay, so you can see I can go through all the parts. Uh, let's let's do accessories. I'm going to try to do this quickly because there's so much here. Um, you can accessorize any part of the thing. You can do this with just about everything, including paint, decals. So we're going to add a new accessory, if it lets us. Okay, there we go. As you can see, there's stuff you have to unlock, plus things that is are, that are already unlocked. So, um, wow. I I can actually use my finger to place this thing. This ridiculous lollipop. Um, <clears throat> I can resize it. Make it super tiny here. Let's see. There we go. That makes no sense. But uh, we can change its height. Oh, actually. There we go. Um, change its color, I can do all kinds of things with it. So, uh, and if I don't like it, which I don't, I can just delete it. So that's the car. Let's get out of here. And um, I'll show you a couple other things very quickly and then we'll go into the races. So this is um, how you can make your guys. You start off with a blank slate. You can randomize or if you don't want to you can go ahead and build your own. Uh, remember this is all touch screen so I can just go through here quickly and choose different prints many of which are unlocked many of which aren't. Let's go ahead and go with this. Um, if I want to, whoops, I can change some of this. Anyway, so let's, uh, oops, let's go back. That's the skin. Now we can go in and change the head. Um, and this is where you would do things like add eyes. So let's find some eyes here. And you can edit the eyes. You can edit them separately if you want to, or you can edit them together. Let's go ahead and give him eyes down here. Let's see. There we go. Um, you can do a bunch of other things like change the color. Let's switch over to mouth. I'm going to try to do this quickly. I know I keep saying that, but I'm not succeeding. Just gave him a mouth. He's very happy. We're going to edit the mouth. Make him a little bit like me. And have a big one. There we go. There we go. And let's see, nose. 
Now oh, there's a bunch. Anyway, you get it. I can I can add all kinds of weird things here. I can add facial hair. I can get rid of that facial hair because that looks terrible. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, we can do let's get rid of the head stuff. We can do clothes next. Um, let's see. Give him some shorts. Give him a fancy shirt, a jacket. Maybe uh, some pants on top of his shorts, because why not? Gloves, some footwear, and I think we're good to go. It's a terrible, terrible looking person that I've created. Now you can go in quickly and change them, as you can see, by doing that. Um, but we won't. So there you go. I can change it, but I'm not going to. Um, you can do the same thing for, this is another creature, a guy I created. You can also do the same thing for your track. You can actually draw a track. Let's see if I can, I'll just do part of this. Uh, this is sort of the setting that you would have. Um, you can go in, you can add all kinds of uh, extra bits and bobs to it. You can add uh, signs, road signs, houses, sheep, um, I don't know, all kinds of things. But uh, I'm not going to show you that. What I'll show you is real quickly how to draw a map, which is kind of cool. Again, what's neat is this is a touch screen. So you only have so much room space to use. This shows you, uh, you can look over on the left-hand side and you can see how much I'm using right now. So, I just created a map, a uh, racetrack. How cool was that? And if, I don't, if I'm lazy and I, I don't want to do anything, I can say I want to auto-populate it, and it will do everything for me. So it's going to go ahead and throw in some buildings. It's going to throw in some sheep. I keep coming back to sheep. I don't know. Maybe it won't. We'll see. We'll see. But there you go. Boom. Look at all the stuff it's throwing in for me. All that stuff you can manually do if you want to. You can choose to add it or not add it. This is randomizing it and adding all kinds of different textures and buildings and no sheep. Not a single sheep. God damn them. Anyway, uh, ramps. And I think we're almost done here. Wow, we're not. That was a really long race course I drew. Yes. Indeed. Alright, it's done. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do a test drive. This is going to be weird because I'm keeping the controller on the ground. Uh, on the chair in front of me, but let's... Whoops. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to drive, sorry. So, I, I just created this. It took me... Whoops. It took me no time. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I can't do this. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up a little bit so you can see what's going on. There we go. Much better. All right, so um, as you can see, it's a straight up racer. It's like a little cart racer. You've got weapons that you can get. You've got, oh, I'm a terrible driver. You've got a boost. Oh, crap. Whoever drew, whoever created this map sucks. <laughs> um, I don't even know what's going on here. So that's a turbo I'm using. Um, when you're airborne, you can do stunts. Let me see if I can do one. Oh, no, I didn't do it. Hold on. Uh, uh, hold on. Woo, and I caught myself on fire. Um, we, I think I can gesture. Let me see if I can make obnoxious gestures at people. No, maybe I can't. Damn it, I keep catching myself on fire. So, uh, one button is a turbo. All right, let me go through it with you. Uh, left bumper is brake. Right bumper is gas. Um, then a face button is turbo. Another allows you to fire weapons. Another lets you hop or do big hops. So that's sort of like uh, the e-brake. And I can't remember what the last button does. But uh, you get the idea. I created this map, I, this race course. I created... Uh, sorry. I created um, the driver and I created the car. And I have to tell you, it was a lot of fun creating all those. Of course, this has ad, ad hoc and a bunch of other features. Um, and it is, in, in and of itself, a fun racer. But it's even more fun 
dare I say, funner when you create all your own stuff. Yes, I dare say it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, let me show you something else. This is kind of cool. Uh, so I, I am now editing the map. Uh, hold on, let's have a look. I wanted to I wanted to show you how to do this. I, I stop it. I'm in love with this. Where's it? Global settings. Okay, check this out. Control the environment. So first, we're gonna tinker with the time of day. Let's see. What do you think? Uh, let's make it mm, evening. I don't know if you can. Can you? Can you tell the difference? So you're gonna make it kind of darkish with the sun over there. Next, we're gonna do cloud cover. Let's see, there's none. Oh, I think we should have, that's not that much. Let's do that, that looks pretty. Wind. Uh, All right, and then water levels. So there we go. Isn't that neat? So neat. Okay, we're going to get out of here.